So in this video, we will jump into Excel and calculate Fisher's LSD test statistic and Fisher's LSD threshold. Now this video is sort of a companion to the previous video in this playlist, where we talked about ANOVA post hoc or ANOVA multiple comparison procedures at a conceptual level. So if you haven't watched that, you might wanna go ahead and watch that first and then come back here. Also, if you look in the description for this video, there will be a link where you can go and download this exact spreadsheet and follow along if you like. So let's go ahead and get started. Now here in columns A, B, and C, we have our roller coaster data from the previous video. And these are 25 wait times for each roller coaster at Kings Island Amusement Park. And it is in minutes. So the first thing we will do, like I always encourage you to do, is create a graphic where we can visualize our data. And for an ANOVA, a one-way ANOVA in this case, a box plot is a good visual. So let's go ahead and select our data here. We're gonna go to Insert, Recommended Charts, All Charts, then select Box and Whisker, and click OK. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger, and we will add our legend. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we can see that the Beast has the lowest mean wait time here in the blue, the Banshee has the middle average wait time here in the orange, and Diamondback has the highest average wait time here in the gray. So what we are trying to find out here is which of these differences is statistically significant. So we can obviously see there is a very big difference between the Beast mean wait time and the Diamondback mean wait time. That's the blue and the gray. However, we have further refinement. So is the mean wait time between the Beast and Banshee here in blue and orange, is that significant? How about Banshee and Diamondback? here in the orange and the gray. We don't know that for sure. So what we can do is use ANOVA post hoc analysis to find out. So in this video, we're going over Fisher's LSD test, but like I said in the previous video, there are others like Tukey, Bonferroni, and the chef's test. They essentially do the same thing. But to teach this topic and to learn about it, we're gonna use Fisher's LSD because it's probably the easiest to do and understand. So for now, I'm gonna take this chart, make it a bit smaller, and move it over here to the far right so we can see it, but we don't need it right now. So there is no Fisher's LSD procedure or test in Excel. So we're going to use Excel to get us part of the way there and then do the rest manually, but luckily it's pretty easy. So the first thing we want to do is calculate a one-way or a single factor ANOVA using Excel's built-in data analysis tool pack. So we'll go ahead and go to data up here in the ribbon, Data Analysis, ANOVA Single Factor, and click OK. Now I already have the data selected, but we'll go ahead and do it again. And then we'll select Labels in First Row. That's important if you have the label names up here in the first row, we've got to have that selected. Alpha will keep at 0 0.05. Output range we will put in J1 here, and go ahead and click OK. So here is our Single Factor ANOVA table comparing the three means over here in columns A, B, and C for the roller coasters. So again, from the previous video, we know that this model is significant. Our p-value is very, very small. The f value is very high. And we have our mean square, which is down here in M13, where I have my mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and make that an orange color. There we go. And for the degrees of freedom here, I'm gonna make that a different color. Let's pick green. Because we're gonna need those numbers here in a second. The great thing about Excel is it gets us part of the way there and then we can use the numbers it creates to fill out what we're gonna do here in the middle of the sheet. So the first thing we wanna do is calculate the differences for each pair of roller coasters. So let's go ahead and do Banshee and Diamondback first. So this is simply equals, we'll go over here and find the average or the mean for Banshee, which is here, minus the mean for the Diamondback, which is down here, and click enter. And that's the difference. Do the same thing for the beast and diamondback. So equals the beast average wait time minus the diamondback mean wait time. Click enter. Same thing here for Banshee. So equals, let's go ahead and do the beast first. Keep it consistent. Minus the Banshee. And there are our differences. So it's simple subtraction for each pair of our roller coasters. Now let's move down here to the middle of the sheet. If you look, you can see that the denominator of our t-statistic here is present in both formulas. So the square root of the MSE times one divided by N sub I plus one divided by N sub J. That exists in the t-value formula here, 
It also exists in the LSD formula below that. So what we'll do is we'll calculate that separately and then we can use it in both. So let's go ahead and calculate the standard error of the difference using a combination of what Excel gives us and some manual calculations. So we'll go equals square root, do that. Now we have the MSC that comes from our ANOVA chart here, multiplied by, we'll do a parenthesis, one divided by 25, because remember each roller coaster has 25 observations, plus one divided by 25, close that parenthesis, and then, and then close the final paren, and we have 4.05716. Remember, that's the same standard error of the difference we found in the previous video. So that number represents the denominator here in the T statistic, and then the right half of the LSD calculation here below. Now the next thing we will need is our critical T value. And again, that is based on the level of significance we have chosen, which is 0 0.05, and our degrees of freedom, which is 72 over here in the green. So to calculate this, we have equals t.inv.2t for two tail. Our probability is 0 0.05. Our degrees of freedom are 72 over here on the right. Close the paren, and we have 1.9934 and so on. Okay, so now let's go down here to our test statistic matrix and calculate our t values for each pair of roller coasters. So we're gonna use this formula under Fisher's LSD test statistic. And because we've already calculated the denominator, and the numerator up here in our difference matrix, this is very easy. So for Banshee and Diamondback, we have equals, the numerator is just a difference, we already have that. It's up here, so a negative 16.466, divided by our standard error of the difference that we have here, and we hit enter, and it's negative 4.05, or negative 4.06. Same thing for the Beast and Diamondback. So equals the difference up here, divided by the standard error of the difference. Here, we have negative 6.467. Same thing for Banshee and Beast, equals difference, divided by standard error of the difference. We have negative 2.40853. Now what do we do with those numbers? Well, we compare them to our T critical here. And again, ignore the negative signs. It's a two-tailed test, we don't have to worry about the negative signs or anything. So is 4.058 larger than our critical T of 1.99? Yes, therefore the difference between Banshee and Diamondback is statistically significant. Same thing for the Beast and Diamondback, and the same thing for Banshee and the Beast. So all three pairs of our coaster data are statistically significant and therefore different from each other. Okay, so to make this easier, let's go ahead and just type this in here. I didn't do this to begin with. Let's go ahead and put an LSD uh, field here. So we're going to calculate Fisher's LSD threshold. So again, this is easy. First thing we need is T alpha over two. Well, we have that, it's right above it, multiplied by the standard error of the difference, which is right here, because remember, this is the right half of this equation. Get that? So it's 8.0878 .08 and so forth. Now what we're gonna do is compare this LSD number to the absolute value of the difference. And if the absolute value of the difference is greater than or equal to the LSD, then we can conclude that that difference is significant. So what we can do is say, if the absolute value of the difference is greater than or equal to the LSD, then we'll say significant, Otherwise, not significant. And therefore, it is significant. Now we can do the same thing for the other calculations. Equals if absolute value of the difference is greater than or equal to the LSD, significant, otherwise not significant, significant. All right, and the last one, same pattern here, absolute value of the difference greater than or equal to LSD, significant, not significant, significant. So, 
I went ahead and did the conditional formulas in there. You could have easily looked at it and been able to tell that author is significant, but I like kind of working some Excel work in as we, uh, as we learn this. So all three pairwise differences are significant using both the test statistic method here and the LSD threshold method here. So if we go back to our chart, make it a little bit bigger. And we can see obviously that Beast and Banshee are different, but also Beast and Banshee and Banshee and Diamondback. So all three pairwise comparisons are statistically significant and therefore we can conclude that the means are not equal to each other. So I hope this was helpful and you can see kind of where these numbers come from and then create some Excel work to go ahead and take Excel's ANOVA a bit further to do your multiple comparison test using Fisher's LSD. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye-bye.